In this video, we're gonna look at an amazing app that's shaking up mobile video editing world. The app is for Android and iOS. It comes packed with features, and when I say packed with features, I mean packed with features. Features that are normally premium or subscription on other apps. These are features that I'm already subscribing to on apps like Video Leap and Adobe Premiere Rush. This is a really short video. Can you finish the whole thing? The app we're gonna look at today is called CapCut. The simple way to remember the name of this app is about capturing the moment and then cutting. CapCut was formerly ViaMaker. CapCut is owned by a company called ByteDance, which owned TikTok. At the time of recording this, the app is available on Android and iOS around the world. CapCut is a high quality video editing app with everything you need to create high quality videos. Let's take a quick look at some of the features of CapCut. Once you open the app and give the relevant permissions to your microphone and your camera roll, you can then select new project. From here, you can select a number of clips or just one clip that you would like to edit. I'm gonna select two clips here, tap on the video to edit. You see the split function here, which allows you to split. You can change the speed. You can add audio, text, stickers, overlays, effects, filters, format, canvas, and adjust the color, obviously. Tap on the clip itself. It will give me some other functions like speed, volume, animation, delete, transform, mask, and chroma key. Very simply, speed is a speed adjustment. Now this is where the magic happens. I can do speed ramping on this app by simply selecting speed. Now normal will be normal speed, forward, fast forward, or reverse slowly. If I select normal, that will allow me to just go up to 100 times faster, or I can go slower. I can also adjust the pitch. But when I select curve, this will allow me various curves. I can use custom curve to create the effect of speed ramping, which slows down and then speeds up again. How good is that? When I've done, I press check. You can also select from some of these presets here. When you're done, just press the check mark. It's simple as that. Animation will allow you to fade in and out, or you use a combination of both. The rest of them, you'll be familiar with from other applications that you have used in the past. Now, another function which is not on all apps is masking. With masking, you can select from any of these masks here. You can also select invert to invert the mask. You may have seen some videos where you've got side by side. I'm gonna show you a quick example. Now you see I'm side by side. What I'm doing here is I'm using the split mask, but you can have a lot of fun with the mask here. And if you are a user of TikTok, you will see people using Video Leap or LumaFusion or various other apps where they're using masking. So if you're using a mobile, this is ideal for doing that. You've also got Chroma Key here, which allow you to create the green or blue screen effect. I'm gonna quickly show you a chroma key here, and here's some of the other functions as well. Beauty, voice effects, you can add music, you can reverse, freeze, copy, opacity. You've also got the normal functions like adjust for saturation. Most video editing apps have filters, or you can replace a clip if you're not happy with the clip. You can overlay. If you look here, I can add various effects to the screen. There's lots of different effects you can add here. That's under basic. Under dreamy, you have another selection of effects. Under shadow, you have another selection of effects as you can see here. You can have party effects. You can have retro effects, comic effects, nature, frame effects. So these are all the different effects you can have on the app. You can also add music. Under the audio section, which you'll see here, you can add sound, sound effects. You can extract music from a previous video, delete the actual video, and you can then just keep the sound. Or you can do a voiceover. When you select sound, it's gonna give you some sounds that are already here. You've got recommended, favorites, or my own sounds, which I've already extracted. You've got sounds from my device. I have to give it permission. So it does have a, a few. It doesn't have loads, but you know, enough to get you going. As always, you can add stickers, various types, as you can see here. Plenty to choose from. You can add text as in any other app. You can add images over the top. So this app is very versatile. I mean, I think it's a superb app. That is a brief overview of CapCut. In the time I've been creating videos here, that has to be the best free video editing app on the market. Let me know in the comments below if after testing and trying this app out, if you have found or if you have a better app than this one that is free. With all of those features, all of those features, you can create extremely good videos with this app. Excellent, 
excellent app. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You'll get notified as soon as I bring you the latest in video apps, tools, tips to help you get online with video and really create great videos. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So stay tuned. This is a really short video. Can you, what? <laughs> Can you finish the whole thing? In this video, we're gonna look at a mobile video editing app that's shaking up the video. What? This is a really short video. Now you know I bring you good apps. No, I don't even say any of that. I don't even say any of that.